everyone. First of all, I would like to ask all of you to give thanks to the presence of God who has given us the blessing and guidance so that I have the chance to deliver my speech about Gun Control Act. The Honorable Mr. Dr. Muhammad Isan MH is my lecturer. My name is Francia Veronica with NPM 2042128 from 2VUMK. To shorten the time, I will start to deliver my speech. Do you know about the Gun Control Act? The Gun Control Act is passed and imposes stricter licensing and regulation on the firearms industry, establishes new categories of firearms offenses, and prohibits the sale of firearms and ammunition to felons and certain other prohibited persons. It also imposes the first federal jurisdiction over destructive devices, including bombs, mines, grenades, and other similar devices. Congress reorganizes ATU into the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax Division, or ATTD, and delegates to them the enforcement of the Gun Control Act. I totally agree with the Gun Control Act because, first, it can maintain peace in society. Now, by controlling the circulation of weapons in society, people can live in peace without fear. Imagine you have just gone out of the house to go to the market and you see everyone holding guns as if they are getting ready for war and they are pointing their guns right in front of your face. You will definitely be scared to death. Do you want to spend your days like that? I'm sure everyone doesn't want to. It must be so terrible to go through life like that. Second, preventing mass shootings. A study in the United States reported an increase in the number of school shootings in the past 20 years that happened in the United States. This research was conducted by Clemson University of the United States to examine cases of shootings that occurred in elementary and middle schools. Between 2000 and 2018, researchers counted 22 shootings and had killed 66 people. Ironically, 77% of the school shooters were teenagers under the age of 18. According to Antonio Skatsianis, one of the researchers from the University of Clemson, this result is arguably quite alarming. This is because most of the victims who died didn't have a clear relationship with the perpetrators of the shootings. In addition, this case is so that today's youth have easier access to firearm. The study conducted by the University of Clemson only calculated the incidence of school shootings. Meanwhile, the shooting incidents at universities and in general are not counted. Examples of cases that have occurred are on January 23, 2018, in Benton, Kentucky, a 15-year-old boy says that two of his colleges, also 15 years old at Marshall High School, Western Kentucky. Dozens more were injured, four more due to panic. On April 10, 2017, in San Bernardino, California, a man kills his wife and an 8-year-old student at North Park Elementary School. He also shot himself and died of his wounds. On April 16, 2007, in Blacksburg, Virginia, a gunman kills 32 people before committing suicide at Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, known as Virginia Tech. One Indonesian citizen was also killed. Imagine the person who gets killed is the one you love. So, don't use weapons that can be harmful for people. Presumably, enough up here a little speech that I can say. For all the mistakes and sad words are less willing hearts in your heart, both of which I intentionally or not, I apologize profusely. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my speech. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.